The big word in investing right now is diversification. If you have some money to invest, the smart thing to do is to put it in at least a few stocks. Why? Investing involves risk. In case a stock fails, we want to own a few others to make the loss hurt less. It's also a bit like a lottery. The more tickets you have, the greater the chance of at least one of them being a winner. It's common sense that, in the world of investing, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. So why then do we often search for one solution for making our pavements greener and more resilient when many exist? My name is Andrew and you're watching What's the Matter With, a video series from the MIT Concrete Sustainability Hub. Tune in to each episode to learn about a key topic in our research and in the industry at large. For our first episode, I've invited Dr. Randy Kershane, director of the CS Hub, onto the show to discuss how a diversified strategy to pavement improvement can have benefits for all of us. I think there are many reasons why it's important for us to maintain our, our roads in a, in a high-performance state. We, you know, those roads are a huge investment that we make as a society. They're what allow us to move ourselves and goods around. They let our economy function. So it's it's critical that we get the most out of each dollar that we spend on that asset. But even beyond that, um, roads impact our safety. They, um, you know, if, if they're in poor condition, it's more likely that we have accidents either as pedestrians or as drivers. Uh, they impact our vehicles. Uh, I think everyone feels the impact as they go through a pothole and imagines that how that must increase the maintenance costs in their cars. But one of the things that I think gets often overlooked is those same roads actually um, change the amount of fuel that our vehicles use. If they're um, in a poor state or they're not as stiff as they could be, then our vehicles use more gas when we drive over them. So uh, a lot of reasons to keep that huge investment in good shape. With all these issues you bring up with pavements, I'm curious, so what is the CS Hub doing about it? We're looking at a lot of issues. We're trying to understand um, how pavements affect the environment around them, affect the vehicles that drive on them, affect the vehicles that are next next to them. But I think maybe most relevant to our discussion today is that we've been trying to build out the toolkit for what's referred to as asset management, which is sort of just a fancy term for getting the most out of each dollar that we spend on whatever asset, in this case, pavements. Um, and so, in, in a certain way, asset management, we can sort of summarize it as, you know, we measure the performance of the system of interest here, it's our pavements. We set some targets of what we want that performance to be, and then we build out a plan of how to, how to get there. We have um, developed a technology here within the hub that makes use of smartphones to measure certain aspects of that performance, the, the roughness specifically of the of the road. Recently, the city of Charleston made use of this to measure the state of performance of their roads. So we hope that that is a real breakthrough to bring down the cost of measuring performance and therefore we get a more comprehensive uh, sense of, of what that is. The second really tricky part sounds maybe quite easy, which is to make a plan tricky because, you know, for any state or municipality, they have uh, many thousands, usually, uh, different roads, each in a different state of repair. There are many things they can do to repair those, those roads. And so the tricky question is, which things do you do on which road in which year in order to get the most out of a very limited set of dollars to accomplish that? In the end, you're managing a portfolio of assets out, right. out into the future. And so in the same way that you would uh, not simply buy one stock in your stock portfolio, you don't want to limit yourself to, to one material or one or uh, one technology to or one approach to repairing your roads. To return to our fundamental question, what is the matter with pavement performance? As Randy explained, pavements have a massive impact on not just the vehicles that travel on them, 
but the surrounding environment as well. Pavement asset management helps us get the most out of the resources we have at our disposal to improve roads and streets. High performance pavements can have significant benefits like reducing fuel usage and CO2 emissions. Let's conclude with an open-ended question. With data-driven tools like Carbon at our disposal, what can we do to understand and improve pavement conditions in our own communities?